In trigonometry, the law of cotangents is a relationship among the lengths of the sides of a triangle and the cotangents of the halves of the three angles. Just as three quantities whose equality is expressed by the law of sines are equal to the diameter of the circumscribed circle of the triangle, so also the law of cotangents relates the radius of the inscribed circle of a triangle to its sides and angles. Statement Using the usual notations for a triangle, where A, B, C are the lengths of the three sides, A, B, C are the vertices opposite those three respective sides, alpha, beta, gamma are the corresponding angles at those vertices, S is the semi-perimeter, that is, S equals a plus B plus C, 2, and R is the radius of the inscribed circle. The law of cotangent states that and furthermore that the inradius is given by proof. In the upper figure, the points of tangency of the encircle with the sides of the triangle break the perimeter into six segments, in three pairs. In each pair the segments are of equal length. For example, the two segments adjacent to vertex A are equal. If we pick one segment from each pair, their sum will be the semi-perimeter S. An example of this is the segment, shown in color in the figure. The two segments making up the red line add up to A, so the blue segment must be of length S minus A. Obviously, the other five segments must also have lengths S minus A, S minus B, or S minus C, as shown in the lower figure. By inspection of the figure, using the definition of the cotangent function, we have and similarly for the other two angles. Proving the first assertion. For the second one, the inradius formula, we start from the general addition formula. Applying to cot equals cot pi, 2 equals 0, we obtain. Substituting the values obtained in the first part, we get. But the right side equals s, r, and multiplying through by r3 per second gives the value of r2. Proving the second assertion. Some proofs using the law of cotangents. A number of other results can be derived from the law of cotangents. Heron's formula. Note that the area of triangle ABC is also divided into six smaller triangles, also in three pairs, with the triangles in each pair having the same area. For example, the two triangles near vertex A, being right triangles of width S minus R and height R, each have an area of one half R. So those two triangles together have an area of R, and the area S of the whole triangle is therefore. This gives the result S equals square root S is required. First Molvide's formula. From the addition formula and the law of cotangents we have. This gives the result as required. Second Molvide's formula. From the addition formula and the law of cotangents we have. Here, an extra step is required to transform a product into a sum. According to the sum product formula, this gives the result as required. The law of tangents can also be derived from this. 